Welcome to Conservative Television. I'm uh, here today with a real hero uh, and patriot in, I would say, the Canadian and I would say even international conservative cause. Uh, Gary Breitkreitz has done more than I can think of for any member of Parliament to advance uh, the cause of property rights and gun ownership and calling attention to some of the abuses in the gun registry, so we're honored to have you with us here today. And I, I, I've got a series of questions and I thought I would just start off and, and have you tell us a little bit about your story and whatnot, but you've made a reputation as a politician who's knowledgeable about the Canadian experiment with the gun registry. And I guess we'd like to know what the status of the current gun registry bill is and are we close to getting rid of it? Well, uh, first of all, Rob, thank you very much for having me here and uh, dealing with this issue. This issue tends to be more important than people realize because it strikes right at the high part of uh, public safety and how do you spend government money in order to improve public safety. Uh, dollars are scarce and, uh, you know, if you take a look at this issue, uh, I think it would you know, a close look at this issue, you would really change your mind as to uh, what you feel the government should be doing in this regard uh, if you support the gun registry. I started on this about 15 years ago and I would uh, back then never have dreamed I would still be uh, tracking this issue and uh, trying to, you know, bring some common sense to the whole argument about how to improve public safety and whether uh, the gun registry is, is effective in reducing crime. Uh, where is the bill at this point? Uh, the Liberals passed a gun registry bill called C-68 back in 1995 and at that point I started uh, really asking questions. I actually did a 180 degree turn on this. To begin with, I bought the Liberal line that the gun registry was gun control. Was it Alan Rock who brought that in? Alan Rock. I remember that. Yes, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, uh, first of all, thought I bought the line, uh, you know, that this was gun control. And then I had some constituents challenge me on this at a meeting. Uh, you know, I was a young, new MP uh, many years ago. And uh, they said, Gary, why don't you take a little closer look at this, okay? Because uh, we can't see how, you know, laying a piece of paper beside a gun is going to improve, you know, the lives of anybody. It's just a paper pushing exercise won't affect the criminal element at all. And I, I, I made a commitment at that point, maybe a little bit foolish to, to, to say I'm going to take a closer look at this. But that was the beginning of a long, long journey. And in the last 15 years... Oh, I just want to mention something about that journey. I've been in, in this business for 13 years and you were elected a term before me. So I, I, I appreciate the length of the journey. And yeah, go on. <laughs> sure. Right. Anyway, I had a, a fellow working with me, Dennis Young, and the two of us were like a team on this issue. We put in over 550 access to information requests. Some people are proud if they put in five or ten. Like you, you, the phenomenal amount of work it took to uncover this boondoggle is it's just mind-boggling because, uh, first of all, they would give us blacked out pieces of paper. They, they, they wouldn't uh, let us know what the costs were. They claimed it was cabinet confidence. But we suspected right from the get-go that this thing was going to cost a lot more than two million dollars to taxpayers. And through access to information, we really uncovered the fact in about 10 years that it was up at a billion dollars, which is 500 times over budget. And uh, I don't think there's another government program in history that I know of, at least, that's gone 500 times over budget. So we just kept tracking it, you know, we put in another access to information request that we had a few bureaucrats that slide a little brown envelope under the door giving us tips as to where to look, okay, because, uh, you know, uh, when the government's trying to hide its tracks, it's sometimes even hard to know where to look for those tracks and, and what to do. So to make a long story short, we are to the point now as conservatives where we've made a commitment to get rid of the gun registry because it's been a waste of money and it is not accomplishing anything. Where is it now? Uh, we, we have the bill at committee. It passed 